Hi, my name is Ray Dempsey and uh, today I'd just like to have a quick review of units and unit conversions. Um, so let's go ahead and get started right away. What is a unit? Well, consider for example you're trying to measure the length of a particular book. We know there's lots of ways to measure the length of the book. In inches, in centimeters, hey we could even measure the length of the book in paper clips. These ways to measure the length of the book are different from one another because each one has a different definition of the amount that one represents. Because of this, inches, centimeters, and paper clips can all be considered different units of length because each defines the value of one differently. And that's what a unit is in a general sense. A unit can be viewed as a predetermined amount of something that defines the value of one. There are different types of units that are used to measure all sorts of things. There are units that measure mass, volume, pressure, time, you name it. Anything that can be measured will need some type of unit to describe it. We can easily compare units that measure the same type of thing, like length. Doing an experiment, we observe that one paperclip is equal to 1 and 7 eighths inches, or 1.875 inches. So the same length can be thought of in two equal ways. One paperclip equals 1.875 inches. Much in the same way that dividing a non-zero number by itself will always equal 1, something similar happens when you divide two non-zero quantities that represent the same amount of something. The fraction form should be thought of as having a value equaling 1. We call these types of fractions conversion factors. A conversion factor is a fraction equaling 1 that's used to convert a quantity expressed in one set of units to another. This is great to know because now I can use this information to express a particular distance using different units of length. Say I want to express the length of 15 inches in paper clips. Here's where we can use conversion factors as a tool. If I multiply 15 inches by a conversion factor, then I will in essence be multiplying 15 inches by 1 in disguise and hence not change its value. We do this strategically so the units cancel and we're left with a distance that's equal to what we started with because we only multiplied the original distance by 1. Similarly, if I wanted to convert 96 paper clips into yards, as long as I have a chain of conversions that link the two together, I can convert any quantity expressed in one particular unit to the other. So that's a great way of comparing similar units, but actually we can still compare different units using what's called a rate. A rate is a ratio that compares two quantities of different units. For example, if a car is moving at a steady pace of 180 miles every four hours, then we can express this relationship as a rate, 180 miles every 4 hours. If we rewrite the fraction in such a way so that the denominator is 1, then we call this a unit rate. This can easily be achieved by dividing the denominator into the numerator. So if the car is moving at a rate of 180 miles every 4 hours, then we can say the car moves at a rate of 45 miles per hour. Comparing distance to time creates a new unit, a unit of speed, in this case, miles per hour. And we can easily express the speed of the car by saying that it's traveling 45 miles per hour. In another example, a 137 gram sample of pure gold was found to have a volume of 7.1 cubic centimeters. Rewriting this as a unit rate allows us to express the density of gold to be approximately 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. To finish, let's take a quiz. Now remember to be careful when units are multiplied together. How do I do this? Oh yeah! To find the area of a rectangle with side lengths 3 feet and 12 feet, I multiply the length by the width to get 36 square feet, with square feet a unit that measures area. To convert this into square yards, I have to be careful when canceling units. And there we go! The answer is 4 square yards. Hopefully you found this review helpful. This is Ray Dempsey reminding you that math is simple. Well, once you get it.